गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन यूनिट नंबर फाइव टूडे वी विल डिस्कस बैंड एंड ब्लॉक ब्रेक दिस इज द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ बैंड ब्रेक और ब्लॉक ब्रेक इन दिस केस वी हैव कंसीडर एज डिफरेंशियल बैंड ब्रेक नाउ टेक द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दिस band brake may be lined with a block of wooden and other materials as we discussed before in block brakes now second point is the friction between the block and drum provides action of braking here numbers of block will be considered as n and the angle between blocks as 2 theta degree okay now in this case we are considering the drum rotates anti clockwise direction and it is also known as differential band and block brake so this is the band and block brake so here t not is the tension in tight side in the band of first block and t1 is the tension in slack side in band on first block tn is the tension in slack side in the band on the last block so here we can see okay now this is the t not tension in tight side let's we assume block number 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 5 6 and n numbers of block are placed in this type of case so t not is tension in tight side this is the tight side and the leaving side is this side so this side is t1 tension in slack side for the block 1 okay so t not is tension in tight side and t1 is tension in slack side for block 1 and tn is the tension in slack side for band break overall band break and the friction mu is the coefficient of friction between band and belts now move on in next phase here here we are consider only first block okay so you can see in this block this is the block first so this is the this is the wheel which is mounted on the axle of the vehicles so this is the center of rotation this is the block which is made by wooden and other materials having lining materials now the direction of rotation of wheel is anti clockwise direction and the angle is 2 theta the angle between block sides this is the block sides and having angle between 2 theta okay now we will also known as when wheel rotates in anti clockwise direction so friction force this is the force breaking force f t and the frictional force is x on direction opposite to ft or direction opposite to rotation of wheel so here wheel rotates anti clockwise direction and the frictional force f is equal to mu rn f is the friction force is equal to mu rn is the upward direction so we are shown in the figure as 
when wheel rotates anti clockwise direction so this is the ft frictional force and mu rn is act in upward direction as mu rn so here here this is the tight side and this side is slack side so as we know as t not is a tension in tight side and t1 is tension in slack side okay and this angle between belt and normal to reaction so this will be theta so this is t not tension in tight side and the angle between oriental and angle between theta so this component will be t not cos theta and its perpendicular component will be t not sin theta at similarly at slack side the vertical component will be t1 cos theta and the horizontal component will be t1 sin theta so if the uh, normal reaction will be in right hand side direction as rn normal reaction in the block okay let's see here first resolving force component radially or horizontally direction radially means this is the wheel this with the radially inwards and this is the radially outwards okay so first is resolving force radially or horizontally so rn acts as left hand side direction so we assume left hand di direction force will be positive sense and uh, force will be acts right hand side direction will acts having negative sign so rn one component second component will be t not sin theta third component will be t1 sin theta so there will be only three horizontal forces or radially forces acting on the first block so the net sum will be t rn sorry rn minus t not sin theta minus t1 sin theta equal to zero the horizontal forces the sum of horizontal forces will be zero so here we have calculated this rn equal to t1 plus t not sin theta this rn is equal to t1 plus t not sin theta this is equation number 1 so next resolving force tangentially or perpendicular direction or vertical direction tangentially to the block surface this is the block and this is the surface this is the tangential direction or vertical direction so in second case resolving force tangentially or vertical direction okay so this will be ft x downward t1 cos theta downward t not cos theta upward so the net sum of vertical forces will be equal to zero so ft plus t1 cos theta minus t not cos theta equal to zero as we as putting the value of ft as mu r n ft as mu r n this is a frictional force ft is equal to mu coefficient of friction rn is equal to normal reaction so putting the value of ft as mu rn so we can obtain mu rn plus t1 cos theta minus t not cos theta will be zero so as simplify this equation we can obtain mu rn is equal to t not minus t1 cos theta so mu rn is equal to t not minus t1 cos theta this is equation number 
okay now move next step equation 1 divide by equation number 2 so at a uh, at uh, okay equation 1 divide by 2 so left hand side will be rn divide by mu rn rn divide by mu rn and right side will be t1 plus t not sin theta upon t not minus t1 cos theta so this is mu rn upon sorry rn upon mu rn equal to t1 plus t not sin theta upon t not minus t1 cos theta so here rn in both up and down will be cancelled out so here 1 upon mu equal to tan theta tan theta is what sin theta upon cos theta equal to tan theta okay so 1 upon mu equal to tan theta t1 plus so this is this is simplify equation 1 upon mu equal to tan theta t not plus t1 upon t not minus t1 okay as simplifies as this tan theta is equal to 1 upon mu t not minus t1 upon t not plus t1 as simplify this is equation number 3 so simplify equation number 3 as known as cot theta is equal to mu t not plus t1 upon t not minus t1 so this is um, almost similar so first we remember remember also equation number 3 this is important equation so tan theta is equal to 1 upon mu t not minus t1 upon t not plus t1 okay now move on next so from equation number 3 as we know equation number 3 is this tan theta is equal to 1 upon mu t not minus t1 upon t not plus t1 so simplify this equation as mu tan theta is equal to t not minus t1 upon t not plus t1 also simplifies as mu tan theta multiply by t not plus t1 equal to t not minus t1 so multiply by mu tan theta into t not or t1 so we simplify as mu tan theta into t not plus mu tan theta t1 is equal to t not minus t1 interchanging t not t1 on left hand side or right hand side we can obtain t1 plus mu tan theta t1 equal to t not minus mu tan theta t not as we simplified as t1 will be common from left hand side so t1 into 1 plus mu tan theta and t not will be common from right hand side so t not is equal to 1 minus mu tan theta so as simplified from this equation we can obtain t not upon t1 is equal to 1 up 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta as known as equation number 5 so this is a very important equation equation number 3 and equation number 5 so equation number 5 will be t not upon t1 equal to 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta so here we can see t not t not will be tension in tight side of the block first upon t1 t1 will be t1 will be tension in slack side for the block number 1 similarly block number 2 so for block number 2 let's we clear that this is block number 2 so 
this is t1 okay and outer side will be t2 so this will be tension in tight side and this is tension in slack side so for block 2 the formula will be t1 upon t2 equal to 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta similarly for block 3 t2 upon t3 equal to 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta okay now move from next slide here similarly for n numbers of blocks which are fitted in the system so t n minus 1 t n minus 1 that is not the let's say assume total number of block will be uh, 12 so n minus 1 will be 11 so t 11 upon t 12 okay here t n minus 1 upon t n equal to 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta this will be equation number 8 so multiply from equation number 1 to 8 either will be t naught upon t1 this is for block 1 t1 upon t2 this is for block 2 t2 upon t3 for block 3 and t n minus 1 upon t n this will be n numbers of block so here yes, right hand side will be 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta and multiply by n numbers of time so so we can obtain as this equation t naught upon t n equal to 1 plus mu tan theta upon 1 minus mu tan theta ki power n n means n numbers of block let's say assume number of block will be 10 so the power will be 10 okay so t naught upon t n means t naught tension in tight side of the whole system and t n is equal to tension in slack side for the whole system okay now breaking torque we also known as breaking torque will be t torque into radius or force into radius so t b is equal to t naught minus t1 here the tension difference between tight side and slack side into r radius of wheel okay so breaking torque will be T B is equal to T naught minus T1 into R. So T naught is equal to tension in tight side for the first block or the very first block for the whole system and T N is equal to tension in slack side for the whole system or after the n numbers of block. So this is completed for today lectures lectures and uh, uh, tomorrow will be considering for a simple numerical on band or block break thank you